Welcome to this video, about part of AC500 controller basic training course. In this video we will show how to load the project to the AC500, via Ethernet connection. After completing this video you will be able to realize, set up the communication between the AC500 and your engineering tool. Download the project. Test the project. And back up the project in the AC500's flashy prom. For online access, you can use different interfaces available on controller, or through additional communication modules. First, you can use Ethernet TCP IP, the most widely used today. Or serial interfaces COM1 or COM2. And last, via field bus plug interface available on controller. For our demonstration, we will configure and use the Ethernet TCP IP interface. When you connect your PC directly with the CPU, use an Ethernet crossover cable if your PC doesn't provide auto crossing. The PC and the CPU have to get a unique IP address in the same network. And the subnet mask has to be the same for both devices. Due to set up the communication between the AC500 and your engineering tool we will first set the IP address in the engineering tool. First we open the network connection menu. Then select from the list item Internet Protocol TCP IP and click button properties. We select the lower radio button and write down the fixed IP address and subnet mask. The address is now set. Now, we are going to set the IP address in the AC500 controller. In the Control Builder Plus, select the Menu Tools, and then IP Config Tools. Then click on the button Scan. When the connection is established, you will get information about all connected AC500 devices no matter what IP address they have. In our case one CPU with default address is found. Click on the device line. Write down the address parameters. And click on send configuration button. Pay attention, the CPU must be in stop mode. After the confirmation the CPU will be rebooted. After that clicking on scan button, you can assure yourself that the address was set properly. Now. We will set the communication profile for the online connection with the AC500 controller. In the project window, click on menu item online and then communication parameters. Click on new button, due to create a new profile. Write down describing profile name. Select TCP IP for connection type. And then click on OK button. Now, we define the parameters. Double click the value field. Write down the CPU address. The port number is always to be 1201. The Motorola byte order value has to be yes. After clicking on OK button, the connection parameters are set. 
Now, we will download the project into the AC500 controller. At first, you can assure yourself that the right connection profile is selected. Then, select in menu online the item, log in. If the projects in the CPU and PC are not identical, a message will pop up. The program will be downloaded. Status indications are shown. Now, we will test the project by use of AC500 input and output signals. The PC is connected with AC500 controller. Start the controller by clicking on Menu Online and Item Run. You can also press Run key on the CPU. The status line is indicating the program execution. Now, we will start the program test. You will see the status indication in both windows by changing the status of the input signals. Finally, we will back up the project in the AC500's flashy prom. The controller can be in run or stop mode. Click the menu item, create boot project in menu online. During the project backup, run, and error CPU's LEDs are flashing alternately. Click item logout, in online menu to terminate the connection. Thank you for attending this video. If you want to learn more about a scalable AC500 controller, please, use the following link. Or if you have an additional technical questions, you can contact our helpline support. For general comments and questions about this video, don't hesitate to contact us.